Honestly, I don't know where to get the money from, but I bid it $50 for ethics and I didn't get it. Hi, I'm Dylan and you're watching a brand new episode of our brand new series, We Ask SMU, where we literally ask SMU students the questions that matter. Now, if you're an SMU student, you definitely know about the boss bidding system, as well as the bidding seasons where we have to bid for modules to take in the following term. Given how volatile the bidding market is, I'm sure many people have a lot of stories to tell about their bidding experience, whether they are pleasant stories, horror stories, or even sob stories. But what exactly do people have to say? Let's find out. What do you guys think is the rationale of the boss bidding system? You can actually choose like what classes suit you and what classes suit your schedule. I honestly think that it's like used for investment planning in the future. I think it will be to take charge of our like our curriculum. To give us the most pain as we possibly can receive. Any lessons you guys have learned from your experiences bidding? I have no experiences. Actually before I came to this school I didn't know we had to bid until one of my friends told me about it. My personal takeaway is to pay my school bills because I always miss the first round. I think like it's always important to be above the uh, median especially because it's so competitive out there. You really need a plan properly. You have to do a lot of research on like the past bits and all that so that you can roughly gauge. Lah. You also need to know how your cohort behaves. My biggest lesson will be don't be with so many people. Later some of your friends will get in and then you won't. It's just depressing. Have you guys faced any like big problems of bidding before? I remember my friend bid that with his best friend and his best friend's girlfriend and then he got in with the girlfriend but not the friend. It was a very depressing semester for that one friend without his girlfriend. It's probably the statistics because like I had to guess like how much to bid and over times you overestimate then you underestimate. Every time you're trying to bid right then you have to refer to the overall boss results. The thing keeps refreshing you know and then you have to keep relogging into the boss system. That's very annoying to me. I saw this year 4 student post on his Instagram story. Bid it for a mod for $200. Honestly I don't know where to get the money from but I bid it $50 for ethics and I didn't get it. Do you have any like bidding advice you'd like to share with the audience? I think don't bid with too many people. <laughs> Later they end up snaking you or something. My advice is just whack. <laughs> the amount that your friend says, plus five. <laughs> plus five. Flashback. Later they end up snaking you or something. Bid with like that safe two to three close friends that you're willing to like do group projects with and go through the mod with. Like don't bid with one entire class full of people because chances are you're not going to get it. So. Just have fun. You'll find a lot of uh, SMU TikTokers who will give you advice on how to bid and stuff. And of course, you can ask your seniors. Choose the prof that follows the kind of teaching that you prefer best. Uh. Don't oversleep your windows. They close at 10 a.m. Try to get it done ASAP. If not, uh, you'll be left with scraps. I would say remember to pay your school bills so that you can bid on time. My personal takeaway is to pay my school bills because I always miss the first round. Don't overbid do your research on the overall boss results. So, I think it's safe to say that bidding is definitely an interesting and unique part of being an SMU student. Some people choose to go about it by trusting their gut instinct, you know, just, just whack lah. Or other people choose to plan ahead their schedule, sometimes even years ahead at a time. But whether you like bidding, or whether you think it's something that is dreadful lah, a miserable thing, I think it's safe to say that bidding teaches us skills that we don't get to learn in a textbook very often. So, that's all we got for today's video. If you like what you see, be sure to like the video down below and of course, subscribe to SMUBE's YouTube channel for more content. Don't forget to tell us in the comments down below what you want us to ask SMU next. Besides that, that's all we got for today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm Dylan. Peace out.